Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy to have you here with us today for another journey track. And we are arriving on Still They Ride from a request from Mary. Thanks so much for another request, Mary. Yes. Supported the channel many times, really enjoyed our videos, and we are grateful that you have enjoyed them as much as you have and you keep contributing. So thank you so much, Mary. Yeah, and Mary's really been a big contributor on our journey with Journey. That's right. She's a big <laughs> Journey fan. Yes. She had some trouble deciding on a video for us to watch. Yeah. She kept going back and forth. She's like, I don't know which is the best one. What version? But we really do appreciate the fact that you were intent on finding us the yeah, best version to do. And you care so much. Because you know that we haven't experienced this before and you want us to experience it in the best way that we can. So we do appreciate yeah. you putting in the effort. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, so we're doing Philadelphia, June 4th, 1983 HQ version. And uh, she said she loved this version in Philadelphia. Yes. So um, we're excited to check this one out. But we've really enjoyed our journey, journey in general. Our journey, journey. Journey, journey in general. Let's say that a couple times fast. You'll probably screw up on it. But anyways, um, you know, obviously Steve Perry is fantastic. But the musicianship. The voice. In, in the group as a whole is not to be overlooked, oh, right? Oh, yeah, they're incredible. Yeah, they're great. And um, so I didn't know anything about Journey before we started. You had a little bit of familiarity. I am, you know, a little more familiar now, but I've been so impressed with mm -hmm. Steve Perry. Like I said, he's yes. just an amazing vocalist. Yeah. And like you said, Top the notch. voice, you know. What, uh, what other name would you want to have if you were a vocalist? Yeah, seriously, it just speaks to his incredible talent. Yeah, so uh, I guess you're probably ready to get going? I'm ready. If you're ready. I'm ready. Let's roll. Tell you something, we came a long way, and that's just for one reason. To stick around and play for you tonight. All Yes, she rides through the night Through the dead street light I'll be slow This old town ain't the same On that note, we'll pause. Just like butter. His vocal is just like His butter, man. It's so range smooth. Is just so impressive. Yeah. yeah, and it gets in those crazy high notes and it doesn't even like it just sounds incredible. Yeah, and just, you know, transitioning one note to the next, like I said, it's just so smooth. I mean, I we've done a few songs from Journey, right? And they've been impressive, obviously, to say the least. Mm -hmm. But it, to me, it's just the consistency that's so yeah. mind blowing yeah. every single Hits time. The mark every single time. Yeah, and you know these is, these are live versions that we've been doing recently. I mean, we got into Journey initially with some studio stuff, yes. which sounded great, but it, he sounds so perfect live as well. You yeah. know, there's no drop off no. in his capability. No disappointment at all. And like I said, it's not like he even seemingly takes a breath <laughs> you know it's like he just keeps going keeps you know banging them out no problem and you know it's just the a clarity raw talent in his voice too i mean there's like the odd word i can't make out just because of that that it's in the higher pitch but like 
he just even though he has a huge vocal range and he really goes into those high notes like you can still follow the storytelling of the song yeah and i think it's interesting as a group how they they clearly have the ballads mastered (laughs) they are the ballad band um but uh it's interesting in this one how the keys are sitting back a little bit further in the mix Mm -hmm. and we see or we hear the ANSI, which i'll get to in one second is the bass and the drums Mm -hmm. seemingly are setting you know the tone and at the forefront yeah and you can even see it on the mix here which is kind of cool we get to see the audio engineers in the back yeah, here making sure that the mix is, is where it needs to be and uh, you can see it popping up and registering there on uh, when the bass comes through and you can you know see the drums pop in which is pretty cool um, and we don't get to see that in a lot of the performance videos yeah, and they never show that yeah and it makes me kind of think you know we give a lot of credit to the artists and you know the musicians in the the groups and the bands but we don't often mention, you know, the people behind the scenes. Yeah, that make how, it all come to life. Yeah, and how much work goes into it, right? Oh, yeah. From the production side of things of as well. So um, Having good production can make all the difference. It could. You know, you don't really think about that, right? Like sometimes maybe you might hire somebody that is your friend or a family member or something like that. And you don't go with the best of the best from the yeah. you know, engineering the or production team. Yeah. And maybe that, you know, may have caused artists to not do as well you know in terms of their career you never know like we wouldn't we would never know that right it just doesn't sound as clear for some random reason yeah that's why anyways what are your thoughts sam anything you want to add before we rewind it and get back into it yeah, I just think the concept of like the song is cool too, right? The lyrics, like I said, I didn't pick all of it out, but definitely was talking a little bit about like being in a town where no one knows your name anymore, things have changed, and like I'm getting the vibe that they're talking about a person, like maybe, I don't know, somebody, whether it was like a celebrity or a star or something that's like no longer as relevant, but they're still riding with the wheels of time and mm. like trying to still remain relevant and enjoy life and stuff like that, right. So, which is kind of cool. Yeah, and the song itself? What do you mean, like the composition of the song? Yeah, like do you like just, well, I mean, you know, you don't have to go into detail or anything, but do you like this <laughs> yes. compared to the other like songs that we've done from Journey? Is it? Yeah, I know, feel like it's not as obviously upbeat. It's not as much of like a fun song, but I feel like it just really showcases and his vocal You don't know ability. this one, right? No, I've never heard never this. Never heard it before? No, but I think it sounds awesome. Like you said, definitely that ballad feel and he just brings so much like raw emotion and passion to his yeah. vocal delivery. You can't not like be mesmerized by him. Yeah, I, I'm... You know, like I said, just the consistency for me is what I'm so blown away yeah. by. Anyways, we haven't got through the full song. So maybe <laughs> I'm just it. going to ruin it all right now. <laughs> Doubtful. We just said the consistency, so I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I, I'm just, I've just hyped him up it. consistently. And then, you know, he's going to go. No, he won't because he's the voice. So let's he's get back crush into it. it. Switch. Up and down the streets of 
fire. Crush it again. Yeah. Never fails to crush it. Blows my mind. So I was, man. I was just going to say, I also really love the electric guitar in this one. Yeah. Um, that I, solo was fire. The solo was fire. I liked, I didn't mention it when we paused, even though I was yammering on forever there <laughs> <laughs> because I liked it so much. And that's why, you know, I just, there's so much to this, but I didn't mention the guitar riff even that they had. I loved as well. The sound of the guitar yeah. in this one. I think it might be the, you know, the journey songs that we've done thus far. I think this, electric guitar work may have been my favorite yeah i think that like obviously it's what makes up a song but i feel like in this song specifically the electric guitar with the keys and the drums all fit together really well to give the vibe of the song that really like played off of his vocal as mm -hmm. well yeah yeah i liked how you know they kind of transitioned with the ballad really well from his vocal to the electric guitar and mm -hmm. back to the vocal. Yeah. Like kind of back and forth. Yeah. It, it, you know, they called to the electric guitar portion, yeah. short, sweet, back to the vocal. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, I think the composition itself. So it was really, really, really well done. So yeah, I also like that the guitar solo had a lot of energy. Like I know it's more of a ballad feel and even the song, it, the song has a lot of energy, but it's not as like upbeat, but I feel like the guitar, the electric guitar came in and brought a lot of energy with yeah the solo. and did you see the person in the audience that had their, their crutch just like waving it in the air <laughs> <laughs> gotta make it to the journey concert yeah all means um <laughs> but uh it was great it was a great recommendation mary yes. i can see why you enjoyed this performance Loved of this it. song i think she said there's only two uh, performances of this song out there that are live the other one was tokyo and um so i'm glad we got to check out this yeah. live version of this song it's fantastic it's so, awesome Sam liked it. I liked it. Hopefully you guys Just liked two it. Two thumbs up for me. That means you need a third thumbs up from you. And uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what journey song you think we should go to yeah. next. Um, Continue on this journey. Yeah, that's right. And uh, thank you so much again, Mary. Thank you so yes. much, everybody. Every single one of you that have subscribed and really driven the channel to where it is today. We are totally grateful for. Yes. So uh, anything you want to add, Sam, before we go? You guys are great. There you go. You heard it from Samantha. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a great day today. Yes. Great week Doing as well. well. And we'll see you tomorrow with two more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.